In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys what each free gunner does on Concord, and I'm going to rate them out of 5 stars on how strong they are and how difficult they are to play. Firstly though, welcome to Concord, a brand new 5v5 team based PvP game with 6 different modes that are releasing on PS5 and PC. There are 16 characters with lots of variety of playstyles to suit you, all of which are available upon launch and by pre-ordering the digital deluxe edition of Concord that gives you 72 hours early access to get a head start on the competition. If you're interested in checking out Concord for yourself, the link is below in the description and a big thank you to PlayStation for sponsoring this video. First up we have one of my favourite free gunners and that is ITZ. ITZ has great mobility and high damage output which makes her very strong if played correctly. Now since she has high damage and great mobility her only drawback is being quite squishy so you can't run head on versus the whole enemy team. If you want to try single out opponents and catch the ones who have strayed from the teammates. Her R1 ability sends out a ball of energy and that does a very slight 5 damage but then it returns to you and buffs your damage significantly and also instantly reloads your gun so you can combine it with first emptying the magazine then pressing your R1 to get an instant energised magazine which will rinse your opponent's health. Our L1 ability sends another energy ball out in the direction that you are aiming and you can press L1 again to instantly teleport to the ball's location which catches your opponents off guard. It sees normal dash creates a clone of herself and it makes it very hard for your opponents to track you correctly so combine that with the L1 ability and you can really pull off some flashy plays. I'll give Itzy a 5 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. She's not that difficult to play and quite straightforward but if you play her very well you can pull off some incredible flashy plays. Moving on to Vale, the Sniper Queen. Vale has great potential in team fights and being able to do so much damage at long range and setting traps for enemies trying to get aggressive. Vale has great potential to get a quick pick or to quickly do a lot of damage straight away by using her L1 ability which is to leap into the air, it sends her very high and it gives you a great line of sight that enemies don't expect to get that first snipe. Her trip mine ability R1 is also a great addition to her skill set as Vale struggles with enemies in close range as of course she's a sniper with quite low mobility and she's quite squishy. Trip mine does a lot of damage and forces enemies to retreat or shoot your mine which gives you time to reposition and gain some distance between you and the enemy. I'll give Vale a 4 star strength and a 4 star difficulty. With only a sniper and a pistol you are relying on hitting your sniper shot and again she really struggles when high mobility free gunners get in her face. Next up we have the bin man aka one off. The best tank in the game that offers so much in team fights and is also great in one on ones. One off has two different weapons which you can swap between. The first one is to absorb bullets and abilities fired towards you and your team which also charges up his own L1 and R1 ability charges. The second weapon is to do damage and it has pretty good range too. His L1 ability is similar to his first weapon which inhales bullets and enemies damaging abilities. As you can see here it forces enemies to either push you while you can pump damage into them or focus their efforts elsewhere. One off's final ability is his R1 which is a large damaging ranged ability which can hit multiple targets. All of this in combination with one off's 300 HP pool, he is very strong and the best tank in the game. I'll give him a 5 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. Once you learn his abilities he is a ton of fun and very strong. Next up, a familiar Call of Duty slash Halo type of free gunner, we have Teo. Teo is a great choice, he has an amazing skill set. Teo has a thermal sighted assault rifle which is highly accurate. You can combine his thermal AR with your L1 ability which are smoke grenades. Throw a bunch of smokes and start beaming the enemy team and they'll panic and wonder where all of this damage is coming from. You can also throw a few frag grenades which is his R1 ability for massive AOE damage. A very straightforward free gunner but very strong. I'll give Teo a 5 star strength with a 2 star difficulty. A great choice for new or experienced players. Next up we have Rocka, a free gunner with spammable rocket launcher and a jetpack, a great combo. Rocka's rocket launcher, you can lock onto enemy players by holding down your aim and it will automatically track enemies. Our L1 ability allows you to hover in place in the air which can be good and bad, you are stationary and an easy target for enemies. But you can also rain fire from above in team fights and can also combine her R1 ability which is a slam onto the ground and can hit multiple opponents. 
I'll give Rocket a 5 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. She's not hard to play and does amazing damage, but you can get singled out as she is quite squishy. Next we have Lennox, the cowboy free gunner with 2 magnums. Lennox does great damage and even has a self heal on his L1 ability which is great for not having to rely on teammates healing you. The first mistake players make with Lennox is that they reload their guns in a fight. With Lennox you have two pistols, one that does significantly more damage than the other, but as Gaz once said, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. By swapping quickly to your other pistol, when your equipped one reaches zero bullets, it will instantly refill your empty pistol with a full mag, essentially allowing you to have unlimited ammo. Albeit the second pistol does much less damage, it's still better than reloading in your opponent's face. His R1 ability throws an exploding knife on impact which does good damage but isn't the easiest to land, still a great option for extra damage. I'll give Lennox a 4 star strength with a 3 star difficulty. Next up we have Kips, a very high mobility and even the ability to go stealth, she is very fun but hard to master. Kips is a support style free gunner I would say with not an incredible amount of damage output with it only coming from her primary burst fire pistol, but she can set surveillance traps with her L1 ability that will highlight opponents in red through walls for your team which is great team play. Her R1 ability throws a shot grenade which disables all abilities from being used for a short time which again is great for your team and when the enemies can't use anything beside their weapon. Kips can go stealth with the dash ability, double tap circle, which is great for deploying the abilities or even doing a little bit of damage and then getting out of there. A constant thorn on the side, I'll give Kips a 3 star strength with a 4 star difficulty. Not the strongest skill set but still a lot of fun if you play it correctly. Next we have Baz, a highly mobile free gunner who specialises in knives. Baz has great mobility and damage but again is very squishy but can be very annoying for enemies by getting in their face. She has ranged knives as her main damage output alongside her L1 ability which is also a ranged shuriken which applies a debuff to enemies causing them to take more damage. So you want to try and land this early. Once you close the gap using your movement, double tap circle, she has 3 charges of her gap closer which recharges quickly. You can then use the R1 ability which is a large damaging stab which does a ton of damage when your enemy is afflicted by the shuriken debuff. I'll give Baz a 4 star strength with a 4 star difficulty. Not the easiest to play but one of those free gunners if played well can be very deadly. Next we have Jabali, probably the most well rounded free gunner in the game. Very easy for newer players as he comes equipped with his own heal on his L1 ability which throws out a ball which attaches to either yourself or teammates and has an AOE heal for any teammates who are in the vicinity of the affected player. His R1 ability works similar only it's for large damage against enemies. If accurate enough it automatically tracks enemies and deals large damage. Combined with his 50 round machine gun he is a very strong free gunner. I'll give Jabali a 4 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. Next we have Starchild, a high damaging tank. Starchild has great damage output for being a tank but what lets him down is the fact that he needs to be very close range to do any damage. He has a shotgun with 6 shells which pack a serious punch. With only 6 rounds and not the best mobility, missing a shot can be fatal. You can combine the shotgun with his R1 ground slam ability which does high damage again but again you must be point blank of the opponent. His L1 ability is a charge which is great for closing the gap but you cannot use any abilities until you stop charging and you are very loud and enemies can hear you easily. I'll give Starchild a 3 star strength with a 3 star difficulty. Next we have Lark, in my opinion the hardest free gunner in the game. He has a great get out of jail free card with his L1 ability. You, are, you set down a location somewhere safe with L1, then when you are in danger you can teleport out with L1 again, which is amazing for going in, doing some damage and getting out. His R1 ability is where you plant eggs around the map which can stack up and buff you and your teammates, but they are easily shot by the enemies, so they're not that great. I'll give Lark a 2 star strength and a 4 star difficulty. He requires way too much setup and doesn't deal enough damage. Next up we have Hamar, the glass cannon. Hamar does incredible damage but with little mobility and no escapes is extremely squishy. Hamar is a great choice and is very strong. She does incredible damage and has a very strong L1 flashbang ability which can flashbang multiple opponents. If you aim in with her weapon it also charges up and does a large amount of damage which can hit multiple opponents. 
Our R1 ability also does large damage, but it's harder to land as it creates a small wall of fire upon the point where it lands. Enemies can simply move out of it. I'll give Hamar a 4 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. Next up we have Imari the tank. Imari has great potential to be amazing, but only when you have a very coordinated team. You can buff multiple teammates and provide a large shield to block a lot of incoming damage. The main problem I had with Imari is that when you play with random teammates, he's essentially useless, plain and simple. You are a support class that is dependent on your teammates working with you, which is never going to be the case without communication. She can do decent damage still with her chain gun, which ramps up in speed the longer you hold it down. I'll give Imari a 1 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. Simply, you need to be in a coordinated team to be good. Next up we have the Granny Duchess. A great choice, she has good damage and good control. Her L1 ability is a wall where you can wall off enemies defensively or offensively. You can combine that with her R1 ability which is a large orb that explodes after a couple seconds to anyone that is still inside. Her weapon is a machine gun similar to the Type 100 from Call of Duty which does decent damage. I'll give her a 3 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. Next up we have the healer, Daw. Daw is a great choice with surprisingly a good damage weapon alongside being able to heal and protect your team. Her R1 ability is a safety dome which stops any incoming abilities and bullets from enemies but also friendly so it's not overpowered. Combine your healing pads which is your L1 ability, you can create a safe haven for your team to heal and not take any damage. On top of being such a great support, she can do some insane damage as you can see here. I'll give Daw a 4 star strength and a 3 star difficulty. Lastly we have Davils, who has the ability to set people on fire. Her grenade launcher can cover your opponents in burn night substance which can be set on fire. As you can see here, I set one off on fire with the combination of Davia's L1 ability which is a dart that ignites the burn night substance. Our R1 ability can set pools of burn night on the ground which you can also set alight, cause a lot of AoE damage. Davios has good damage and great potential but you do need quite a bit of setup in fights which holds her back. I'll give Davios a 3 star strength and a 4 star difficulty. So there you have it, a rundown on what each free gunner crew member can do and their strengths and weaknesses. I hope this video has helped you guys and provided some insight on which free gunner you might like to choose. Again a massive thank you to PlayStation for sponsoring this video and links are below guys if you would like to check out Concord for yourself. You can pre-order the digital deluxe edition for 72 hours early access.